Hello everybody, short ride number 97. This one is with a one of the greatest wrestlers of uh, my, th my, my time period. Uh, and not just a great wrestler, but uh, absolutely uh, one of the toughest human beings that ever lived. Uh, this is his debut match uh, for Continental. Uh, this is probably, I'm going to think, um, 1986, uh, 87, somewhere in that time frame, probably 1986. Uh, we're going to bring you a match here with uh, his debut for Continental, Dick Slater. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled at one fall, 15-minute time limit. First of all, introducing in the ring, weighing in at 241 pounds from West Jefferson, Alabama, here is Ken Glover. Glover. And ladies and gentlemen, making his first Birmingham appearance as he enters ring, weighing in at 227 pounds from California. Would you give a warm Birmingham welcome to Mr. Excitement himself, Dick Slater. Slater. The referee, Nick Dukas. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Unpredictable, Dick Slater, has been making his home in California. He's originally from Tampa, Florida. Stopped by uh, last week, chatted with us, said uh, he was just passing through. But I know Dick, and I know uh, the kind of man he is. And he saw some competition around here he decided to try out. So that's exactly what he's going to do. Kent Glover. Outweighs Slater by about oh, 14, 15 pounds. Slater in the red trunk, collar and elbow, bowls him up to the ring ropes. And Slater, cautious back up. Slater will give you every advantage possible. In fact, he'll fight a buzzsaw, give the buzzsaw the first two rounds. Good series of chain wrestling there. Side headlock, side headlock to a uh, hammerlock to a takedown. Slater, out of Robinson High School in Tampa, then the University of Tampa. Outstanding amateur wrestler, football player, you name it, all around sportsman. Had an opportunity at one time, and uh, I think still does occasionally, uh, to uh, drive race cars. Up against those ropes, Slater reversing the situation on him. Kent Glover in the black trunks. And again, watch Slater. Clean, nice break by Slater. And the referee telling Mr. Glover, if you want to uh, wrestle, let's wrestle. Don't complain to me because Slater uh, bowled you into the ropes. And so Glover tried a bad mistake. Bottom wrist lock, lateral drop. Takedown and head scissors by Slater. Slater has held just about every regional and national title available. He has a restless foot, however. Likes to move around. And we're fortunate indeed this week to have him here on Continental Championship Wrestling. Beautiful move as Glover came out of it, Slater overhooked the head and uh, trapped him once again. With me right now are the uh, Armstrongs and uh, gentlemen, uh, I know of course that uh, Dick Slater is a longtime friend of the family. Exactly right, Mr. Sully. Uh, we wanted to watch this match specifically because, uh, like you said, Dick Slater is a, fa is a family friend of the Armstrongs and uh, is a super nice guy. He came from Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, we're going to take him on as a tag partner because, as you know, Scott's been injured. His knee was, was blown out pretty bad at the hands of the Fullers and Golden, the same people who hurt the bullet. The Armstrongs may be down for a while, brother, but they bang sure ain't out. And we're going to take on Dick Slater as a partner, and uh, he's going to fill that third slot, and we're going to take on the Fullers and Golden any time and any place. Well, I can imagine that makes you feel better, Steve. Yes, sir, it sure does. You know, uh, Scott being injured now. First they got Dad, now they got Scott. Man, uh, we want the revenge. We want it bad. Me and Brad have talked about it, and Dick Slater's a longtime friend of the family and everything. We decided that he's the best man to help us kick their butts royally, if you'll excuse my friends there, Gordon. Well, you know, I've heard your dad say so many, many times in the past, you don't get mad, you just get even. That's exactly right, and that's what we want, the revenge. We want it bad. Me and Brad have talked about it, and Dick Slater's a longtime friend of the family and everything.
everything. Five, we decided that he's the best man to help us kick their butts royally, if you'll excuse my French there, Gordon. Well, you know, I've heard your dad say so many, many times in the past, you don't get mad, you just get even. That's exactly right, and that's what the Armstrongs are going to do. They're going to get even, and they're going to do it with the help of Mr. Unpredictable Dick Slater. Let's say about it. Slater right now, uh, pretty much giving Glover a, a lesson in wrestling. Uh-uh, Glover suddenly rips across the eyes. Three smashing blows to the midsection, one to the side of the jaw, another one to the side of the jaw, another one. Slater fires back. Boy, he's got a rapid right hand, I'll tell you. He sure does, brother. That's what I mean by Mr. Unpredictable. He comes out of nowhere with a yes, sir, neck breaker, looking good. The neck breaker now by Dick Slater. Slater now drives a foot into the upper part of the chest of Kent Glover. Glover in trouble and Slater standing over his man, completely in control of the situation. Deep double underhook. Notice how far down the head is jammed here and Glover backing away. He didn't want any part of that. All right. Glover reversing the situation on Slater. Referee calls for the break. Glover starts out with an Irish whip and it's Slater reversing it. Catches him with an elbow coming off the uh, ring post and uh, turnbuckles. Slater now with a snapmare has him down once again. Well, I'll tell you what, with you two and Dick Slater in the ring, I would think the Fullers and Golden have got some problems. Well, yes, sir, that's what we were thinking exactly. There he is with that big elbow. He's right on top of it. Yeah. And thank you very much, Mr. Slater, for your time. Okay, Brad and Steve Armstrong. And uh, so... Dick Slater emerges the victor in this match. Now, let's listen to these words from our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, the time of six minutes and 41 seconds. The fall and the match go to Mr. Electricity himself, Dick Slater. Let's see if we can pick it up in slow-mo, and we'll see Slater. He uses that elbow so very, very effectively. And as you can see right here, he catches uh, Glover with that elbow. That knocks him into the middle of next week. Slater um, hooks that leg, gets the pin, and it's all over. Well, that dick was something else, I'm telling you. And uh, one of the meanest and then one of the baddest men on the face of the earth, too, when it came to getting tough and you really getting down and doing it. Uh, uh, he uh, he is a, was a great friend of mine uh, and my family's and uh, the, the Graham family, uh, and uh, he, he, he passed away uh, way too, way, uh, way ahead of his time. I'm one of those guys that, uh, that uh, had a lot left in him. And uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, joining us. And we're going to bring in another one.